Hondurans continued to protest in the streets, pitting supporters of exiled President Manuel Celaya against those favoring interim President Roberto Micheletti. Soldiers forcibly expelled Mr. Celaya on Sunday on charges of abusing his power. The coup seems to have had a corollary effect of further solidifying the relationship between the ousted leader and Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. Mr. Celaya flew to Nicaragua the following day on one of Mr. Chavez's private jets. He met with the Venezuelan leader and other Latin American presidents. There and on other occasions, Mr. Chavez has been vocal in demanding Mr. Celaya's return to power. Oil money from Mr. Chavez reportedly helped Mr. Celaya win the 2005 election. And analysts say Mr. Celaya's subsequent appearances with the Venezuelan leader proves his leanings to the left. Like this appearance, it's one celebrating Chavez's 10 years in power, during which he has steered his nation towards socialism. Roger Noriega, who served in the State Department during the Bush administration, says Mr. Celaya was abusing power and Washington missed the opportunity to rein him in. Uh, so I think our influence in Latin America is waning and that's uh, a bad thing in as much as it creates a vacuum for people like Hugo Chavez who have the energy and the resources uh, to have his way in Latin America. Supporters of the interim president say Mr. Solaya has become too dependent on Venezuela. Interim Foreign Minister Enrique Ortez. We are not going to become dependent on a foreign government. We respect the government of Venezuela, but we do not enter military pacts with Venezuela. Some observers say Mr. Celaya's attempt to change the laws should serve as a lesson to others who try to tamper with democracy. Peter Hakim is with a Washington think tank. I think in the end that attitude may come back and really uh, uh, be damaging to the Venezuelas and others that are sort of clearly uh, moving in, in undemocratic ways. America Latina. However, for now, Mr. Chavez's outspoken support for Mr. Celaya could boost his stature in the hemisphere, should the ousted Honduran president be reinstated. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.